Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for CSI, which is Colour Stories Inspiration Challenge Blog. So twice a month there are case files that go live and this is case file 406. So using the colours there on the right and the list of ever evidence as inspiration, I'm going to make myself a layout. Now, one of the things listed in the testimony was creativity, or it says create team an idea. And I remembered that a good few years ago, I took these photographs on a trip to Florence. And I'm going to use those, and I've never scrapped them before, and I'm going to scrap them today using Pink Fresh Studio Some Days. I do bring in a little bit of Vicky Bootin later on, but mainly I'm using Pink Fresh Studio. So I want to use the three photos just to give an idea about these altered road signs. And I've now decided that I'm going to stagger them down the page in a column formation, really. And either side of them, I'm going to embellish. The idea of these challenges is to um, use up your stash um, and to look at what you own a little bit differently, be inspired by, by some of the things it recommends. You don't need to use everything on the evidence list that you see there. And later on, I think you'll find me marking things off to see how many I do actually use. But it's, it's a good way to, to um, kickstart your mojo, really. So if you've never tried a CSI challenge, I would recommend it. There is uh, an Instagram um, thread. There is a Facebook group. There's a blog as well, so there's lots of uh, ways to find out about these challenges. And as I say, there's quite a big DT, so there's lots of inspiration for each of the case files. So I'm just bringing in some extra bits. I've used some tickets and some journaling cards as the base there. I am going to trim that red uh, pattern paper before I stick anything down. This is really me just going through things and deciding what I like the look of. So I've been inspired by the colours on the picture on the right, but as you might have already noticed, I'm not particularly using any yellow. I do try and bring in some yellow, but it doesn't seem to work with the photograph. So uh, as, a gay, as I say, it's a challenge, so I don't have to use all those colours, and mainly be inspired by them, and I'm using the majority of them. One of the things on the evidence list says to use square embellishments, so I've just got some square frames and words there from, I think, Hip Kit, and I'm going to bring those in and it also talks about triangles and I found these like enamel dots that are triangles there so I definitely want to use those. So sometimes before I even start a layout for a CSI challenge I literally go around my craft space and literally shop my stash. I don't know whether you've done that before and I've brought in things that I think might be useful. Now I might not use them all but it doesn't matter means that I'm actually trying to use things up. So I've trimmed this uh, paper down to run down the centre of the layout and instead of having a big piece of red behind it, I'm just going to tuck a little tab in at the top and the bottom. I'm just trimming those so they're a bit shorter than the blue and they will just peek out um, either side. So I've decided where I want the photos to grow and I'm just going to go back now and sensibly <laughs> choose a little bit better Rather, all the stuff I threw out the first time, I'm going to go through it and decide what I really want to keep. And even some of the stuff I'm looking at now doesn't make the final cut, but it's just, um, I enjoy this process really. I like to look through, I like to fit things together, um, and that's where I got a lot of my enjoyment. So, particularly from embellishments, I think they're the best part of scrapbooking. There's so many different uh, varieties of things you can use, so I'm just having a good look through. So there's this acetate uh, phrase, that's another Pink Fresh Studio, not from this range, but I'd kept it with my Pink Fresh Studio stash, and I really want it to work, but it feels too vertical. And I try various ways, because um, I want it to stand out, but it doesn't actually make the final cut. But another word does, so um, I'm happy with that, because uh, transparent was something that was on the list of evidence, and... It kind of makes you competitive, the evidence. Sometimes I really want to use all of them if I can, and some of the designers actually do. Uh, I don't think I've ever quite got that far, but I am definitely trying. So there's an aeroplane that's on the list, and so is people, and I've got a little person there. See, there I am, ticking them off. That's one of the reasons why I print it off. I like to be able to see it visually, and um, it inspires me, definitely, to add more bits than potentially I would normally do. So um, I, I see it as a lot, a lot of fun. 
So I'm just going to get these clusters um, to work and I want to actually add some journaling to the bottom one where the aeroplane is. So I'm going to leave that a little bit less covered than the others. And then I'm bringing in the triangles there. I definitely want to make sure I use those. So I brought them back into eye line so that uh, they don't get missed. I love this little tray that I've got on the left. Um, it was a gift from Birds of a Feather when uh, they ran retreats and I just find it really useful to contain everything so I can see what I wanted to um, use or what I'd fished out. So the geotag and the aeroplane are from Shenanigans. I'll list them underneath when this video is finished. They're a small embellishment um, shop that I run myself. They're 3D printed shapes. So uh, if you're interested, uh, have a look at the website. But uh, that's what they are. Um, well, I just cut out these little triangles. They, they come in so many colours, but I actually want to use the three colours that go with this uh, case file. So I'm using two shades of blue and I'm going to use the red as well. So while my hands are staying busy, let me tell you about these road signs. We went to um, Florence for a big birthday holiday for me. We were there uh, just a few nights and basically our, we realised that we saw a road sign that had been altered, like one of that where there's a little person stepping out of the white and we realised that actually this is a thing in Florence and there's a guy that's got his own Instagram page. If I can find his name, I'll put him also in the comments. And this is what he does. He's an artist. And we found in the three or four days we were there, we found over 50 different altered road signs. So obviously the the council or the state or whatever they have allow him to do this because they, they were very prominent. Once you realise what you were looking for, you found them all over the place. And I gather he's done some others in some other European countries. And as I say, he's got his own Instagram page and he's very well known. I'd never heard of him before, but it just added to our enjoyment of a visit to the city that we were looking for these road signs as we looked around. I think quite often you always look ahead or you always look, you know, look below when you're traveling. You don't necessarily look above your head. Um, so this really gave us an opportunity to see the city in a different light. And some of them were amazing. They really were they weren't all easy to photograph and some of them were really high up. So goodness knows how he how he does it and whether he does it secretively. I, um, I think it's a bit like an enigma, I think, a little bit like a bit like Banksy in a way, but uh, on a completely different scale. So um, if you ever get the chance to go to Florence, I hope they're still there because these pictures were taken in 2017 uh, and they just made a smile. And I've got <laughs> lots of pictures on my phone of them. Uh, I picked round ones because I just wanted them all to be similar, but uh, he didn't just stick to round road signs that he altered. Um, but yeah, they were just a little bit of fun, which just made us smile. So going back to what I'm doing, I'm now going to start to stick stuff down. All the embellishment clusters are all stuck down and I'm just adding, in theory, this is stamping on the background because this is a background stamp, but I, I could have done this with something else. So I do add a bit more stamping elsewhere, but I just wanted to add a little bit of something to the cardstock. So I'm just adding a big sheet of, uh, that's kids craft foam, to the back of this piece of pattern paper just to lift it off the base and saves using thousands of foam pads. So that works really well, keeps it really stable, give me a chance to get these stuck down. The word capture there, that's transparent. So that's another tick on the list. And I'm using that as my title. And I'm just tucking some little, um, tabs in around the photos so I like the way that that's now looking uh, I can't figure out where exactly to put the title and whether it should be in the middle or not but I actually go back and put it at the bottom and then I'm just going to quickly stick everything down so I've definitely included a pencil an aeroplane triangle stitching square embellishments people stamps and something transparent so that's a good half of the list all to make this layout. And obviously I've added some bits that aren't on the list. That's absolutely fine too. Um, but um, it's just all a bit of fun. So if you do get to make a layout, please upload it to the Facebook group. We love to see your versions of these uh, case files because everybody goes off in a completely different direction and, and inspired in a completely different way. So we definitely love to see them there. So I'm literally adding some finishing touches to this now. And I've managed to document something that I've not documented before. And I definitely think it is creative. And um, this guy's obviously um, loves what he does by the number of road signs that we saw. So uh, definitely uh, a great memory of this trip. 
So if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to my channel. I do try and get as many videos out there as I can. And um, leave me a comment below if there's anything you want to ask or discuss from something that I've said or something that I've made. So there it is, everything stuck down, nice bit of um, volume to this. So this is the full image and some close-ups. So thanks very much for watching. You take care. Bye for now.